with something, and my dudes That's gave cool. me a look when I was on my way to Cleveland last week. But uh, and then the dude, the AD, he his he decided to be friends with the new AD, and they needed an announcer. But he said he said he'd give me a call. That was just, you know, I was still waiting on that second call. But he like he made it seem like I had it, but I don't know for sure. But I gotta hurry and figure out this thing. Whip situation. This joke is irritating. <laughs> I know, shorty fed up. I'm fed up. See this that that championship music right here. That game seven, three seconds left on the clock. Are you gonna take it? Don't lose your focus. Crap. Yeah, focus. You gotta focus. Hell yeah, hopeless. What you choose? Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, what you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I I'm like, bruh, Brady in his prime. Houston 9 to 5 against all odds. I promise I will rise. I got that Jordan driving wheel to win. Cause from deep within, boy, I guess it in. From the start to the very end, me and it to win. Switch it up, it's two minutes left. Gotta get the touch. I'm like T-Ball when it comes to clutch. You can count on me. Fourth and go, and I'm gonna score. That's the Super Bowl, I'll get that ring. Had to catch my dream, did it with my team. Feel like poppy bottom of the night on my second out. Up the back, and the base is loaded, and we down by three. Home run on the second strike, tried to throw a curve. I'm on course, winning is the source. We headed up north, that's to the top. I will never drop, I will never stop. Popping bottles of the champagne, had to make it rain. We the best, we the team that's left. Told y'all we was next, what was my focus? I ain't never hopeless, I ball out like Kobe. I focus, you gotta focus, else you're hopeless, what you choose? Win to lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I focus, you gotta focus. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of That's Debatable. Yes, I'm sir. Will Ward. It's my guy, Jeremiah Bays, aka Jer. What's my- happening, fellas? Always in the corner, the voice of reason. My boy Ryan. Right here, as always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you missed last week's episode. I did, I did. was taking care of a little family business, a little anniversary. Not little, seven years of being married. Shout out to my lovely wife. That's what's up, that's what's up, man. Took a little time and, uh, you know, just just did a little, little, uh, you know, reminiscent of old times and more of to the future type thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, man, that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Appreciate it, appreciate it. For sure. Here's to the future. Shout out a good little shout out last week. I appreciate that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So... Uh, besides that, your whole week off, how, everything good? How was your weekend? Uh, it's, it's been life, man. You know, ups and downs. Had a you know a couple unfortunate deaths in the family, oh, but uh, man, so you know, we're going to work through that. And, uh, you know, life goes on. Uh, that's what's up. That's what about right. You? Uh, eventful weekend for me. Our air conditioner's been out for a week, so the house <laughs> has been hot. They're coming over tomorrow. My uh, dog's been sick since, like, Thursday night. He was throwing up for a day, so oh, yeah, he's been hot, like. miserable, and sad. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, one day at a time, we'll get through it. Every, right everything's good. Uh, NFL preseason week two, a lot yeah. of excitement there. Yeah, Lots yeah. of action in the sporting world, so there's always stuff to keep us moving. Yeah, It's a good Monday. That's definitely good. That's good, man. Hopefully your dog feel better and all that get fixed because it, it's been a scorcher. <laughs> but uh, my weekend was smooth. I had Saturday. I had helped my my future mom in law clean up the backyard with the family. I kind of felt like I had to be a. I don't know. See, I don't know how Shorty felt about it, but in my mind, all four of her, her sisters was there and all four of the dudes was there. So of course, I'm including myself in that. 
And I'm the longest, I'm one of the youngest, but I'm the longest tenured man that's been around. So I felt like ain't none of these other men about to outwork me. So I'm trying to just, <laughs> you feel me? Like I've been here, like no, I've been the longest member of the family. And I, I don't know about everybody else. Can't speak for everybody else. Well, my other brother-in-law, he going to be he gonna be straight. But the other two, I don't know if they're going to be around. But me, I plan on sticking around for a while. So hopefully I can get into that bag like you. We we've been in a ten year relationship on and off. I've made mistakes, but you know it is what it is. That's we, life, We gonna man. take that step, get there. But that was my that was that was late early Saturday doing that yard work. And the late Saturday we kind of had a little 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 drunk night, little drinking game night, and I kind of kind of got a little bit too turned up. And the the way the game was set up, I just had to keep taking drinks. Next thing you know, everybody <laughs> gone. I'm hurling everywhere. Oh, just, man. Uncle bro, Earl came calling. Bro, I'll still feel it. <laughs> like, man. Uh, yeah, I was out of, I was in full recovery on Sunday. I don't really drink that much. I, it's not that I'm not a drinker. I just refuse to drink. But, yeah, that was my little weekend. Uh, of course, I called up to some games. We had a, uh, throughout the week, they had released uh, opening day schedules, Christmas day schedules, stuff like that. Katie and Draymond had a face to face who saw that coming uh and of course we still got to get to some more of our predictions about how these uh standings and stuff about to go we're gonna get in that later but first i want to get into some high school football man I, i'm a eastmore uh, uh alum so i'm gonna I'm uh, show some love to the south division real quick not everybody got some wins but independence got a win shout out to the sixers afrocentric uh got it they got a dub this weekend shout out to the nubians South South is on a two game win streak. I might be plugged in the South. We'll see how that goes. Shh, man, fingers crossed. Briggs, that's nothing new. That's a baseball school. They lost. Marion Franklin, I'm shocked. And back when I was in school, Marion Franklin was doing their thing. They was winning everything. But they lost uh Walnut Ridge, aka Small Nut Ridge, yeah, the Bloody Scots. They lost. They, that's a that's a former rival, so it is what it is. And of course, Eastmore Academy. Um, they, uh, they lost to uh, the Canal uh, to the uh, to the other Warriors out there in Canal, man. Uh, Harvest Prep, thirty four sixty or something crazy like that. I mean, we man, come on, Coach Coach Miranda. I know they're gonna get it together over yeah, there. My coach right there, Miranda boy. Oh yeah, that's Shout my, my guy. man, James. Yeah, <laughs> he called him James, Big J. Call him Jim, James, <laughs> Mister Miranda. And of course, West lost, so that ain't nothing new, but. Some shockers that I'm Eastmore got blown out like that. Usually we beat Harvest Prep and Walnut Ridge and Mary Franklin losing is kind of a shocker to me on their opening weekend. So we'll see how that go. I'm gonna stay tuned in, tapped into the high school football, and I'm gonna show some love to some other schools. Big but game coming up this week: Harvest Prep versus Bishop Hartley. Hartley, excuse me. Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna be broadcasting that. Almost game. went to Hartley. Almost on went to Hartley, man. So just make sure you keep tuning in. All the high schoolers, keep doing what you do. I know it's still early in the season. Don't get discouraged. You know, yeah, stay focused. It's still stay the beginning of the in. season. You know, I was a part. Of Miranda's last season at Northland, we went 0-10. No wins. Oh, Zero wins, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so, hey, like I said, don't get different. discouraged, man. Just keep playing. Keep doing <laughs> your thing. Focused. And it's still hey, nine games left. I ain't get that much PT, so it's all good. I was just a fighter, so it's it's all good. Not like literally a fighter, but I had heart. You got the, it's a, it is exciting that, uh, you know, high school football's back. College just, is about to start up. It just gives that feeling. I was, yeah, you know, Friday night here. driving down, like you can see the lights on, the yeah, parking yeah, lots yeah. packed. I live people. on the street of Bishop Hartley, too, so it I'm feels just like scrimmages and coming stuff. Coming out of COVID, like, you know, last year didn't really happen, so. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, fans is a lot of I think games. everybody's very excited. Right. And, and as you guys know, this is my first fall in Columbus. Yeah. Um, obviously, football is a huge thing in Nebraska, but Columbus, it's a whole nother level, man. High yeah. school football on up. Um, so I'm excited to be in the area and, uh, you know, being in school, we do a lot of work with the high school football program. So I'm yeah. very excited to get involved with some broadcasts and, uh, just the atmosphere environment here is, um, palpable. So I'm excited for this fall. Oh uh, yeah. Next week, Eastmore Academy got St. Charles. I believe that's at St. Charles. If I'm right. Let me see. No, I think actually the St. Charles is at Eastmore. So, Hopefully, both teams lost over the weekend. Hopefully, they could get that uh, back on track, EA. Uh, I want to give a quick shout-out to my guy, AD. His team In his coaching debut, his team got smoked. But, hey, man, 
Like I was just telling him over the weekend, bro, it's all good. Stay locked in, watch that film, get them kids right. It's all good. Like I ain't never see a day where I'll be hitting you up, talking to you about college, uh, not college, but high school football and you coaching. So that's what's up, bro. Proud of you. All right. Now, you missed last week, so you got I want you to give your quick AFC West predictions because you said you had the Chiefs at some – now, I got them at a good record, numbers. too, but you got them crazy. I just want to hear you explain yourself so, a little bit. I mean, we're going to start just right, right where you want them to start at. I'm going to start at KC. And when I look at the schedule and the strength of schedule, it's a straight off 17-0, and no, barring injuries, because you start off with the Browns week one, and I know that's going to be a slobber knocker of sorts. You know, that defensive end powerhouse that the Browns have is going to be coming at Patrick Mahomes trying to prove a point that they weren't you know, second best in the AFC last year. So even though if they were in Cleveland, I probably would have took Cleveland. But with them going into KC and KC kind of trying to prove a point. You're a little Cleveland hater, though. So. You no know, Cleveland hater ain't nothing to hate about, man. It's dog power. It's still 513 is where I reside at. So ain't nothing to hate on the Browns. Man, still got listen, point. Man, you a little biased against <laughs> the Browns. Nah, but all right, I'm, I'm going to let you credit. continue. Where they, where they coming in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you man, know them Brownies. I ain't no Browns fan, but I got some high hopes for the Brownies. We'll man. see. <laughs> then going in week two against the Ravens, you know, that's going to be another toss-up. Uh, going week three, San Diego. Who knows what you're going to get out of San Diego? L.A., L.A. All right, excuse me. All right, L.A. <laughs> I do the same thing all the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Philly, that's a breeze. Um, <laughs> going and playing the uh, Buffalo Bills, that's another one of them toss-ups. But I just think that the, the power, that you know, the speed and the talent that Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, you know, Kelsey, and the whole crew, that they, they – kind of can't be matched on certain – I mean, even though, you know, you got what Tampa Bay did to them in the Super Bowl. Demolish. Demolish. <laughs> but I think that had left a sour taste in their mouths. Mm. So, at the, looking at the rest of the schedule, they got a tough game against mm. Tennessee. We don't really know what's going to get out of Tennessee. The one game I can't see them we losing probably is week 17 against the Bengals. You know, barring anything – I don't know. By that time, Joe Burrow should be in his full routine. You know, my man mm. Chase, Jamar Chase. Hey, man, get the hands ready. We, he, everybody's saying he's looking bad right now and can't really catch a ball. Yeah, you wasn't he can't here. catch a cold. No, you he can't get, even <laughs> catch COVID. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, your boy Joe Burrow looking a little scary in that pocket That's, too. Hey. He wasn't here to defend him, but yeah, I was sending you the messages. You'd be scared too if your knee got blown up hey, like hey, that last man, year. We ain't talking about what I'm scared of. We talking about <laughs> they quarterback. Like we said. <laughs> He'll, he'll be all right. And mental health is big, and mental and his, his mental just has to be retrained and get refamiliarized with everything After that's he going take on. That the loss field. to the Vikings opening day, he might be ready. I, don't I think know if that's gonna happen. I think he'll get it together. He doesn't seem like that dude that. No, he ain't afraid. Now he got hurt. He might be a he got little a gun shy at first, but <laughs> he got the eye of the tiger. Right? Whatever pun you want to use. Well, but I mean, Jamar Chase hasn't saying. played football in a year yeah, and a half. Right. I mean, so. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to knock the rust off and to get him more, you know, you're going from college where you played a whole year and a half ago and now you're in the NFL to the, where the speed is picked up yet. That's you know, cool. I know Justin Jefferson is totally different. Uh. It's the same kind of regime. He was in LSU and, you know, did his thing and came out one of the best receivers in the game right now. I give him credit where credit is due. Yep. But it's, I think it's going to be a timing thing. So just keep watching. I know you're excited about seeing the Bengals and what they're going to be at 13 and 4 and how they're going to get there. <laughs> Man, we're not even talking about the Bengals. I want you to talk about but, So you got the Bengals anyway. with a better record than the Chiefs. Nah, Chiefs 17 and 0. 17 and 0. And at worst, they probably lose. I, I say, like I said, 17 the and 0. That's enough. One of those games in San Diego, they play them twice. They may get one of those, depending the on second how. second when they lose them. Huh? Look at it. They got three straight divisional opponents. I think that last one is in that late. On a Thursday night, that's definitely a loss. It'll be it's a t- it's a tough one. I that's, mean, that's a quick turnaround the, with three straight division with all your whole division in the row, and he they the last of the Mohicans. But got at least only one, one of those scenario. games are in that way. Like I said, L.A. The Chargers, the last one is in L.A. Yeah, and, and the Chargers and the Raiders ain't no at joke. home. The Broncos, I can't. I mean, Teddy B gonna come out. I think he's gonna get it over lock. So that's still a team that I'm not sold on. Nah. You know? So the Raiders the defense is still tough. They though, don't even really have a true quarterback all the way. So I'm not like I said. I'm not. I'm not sold on it's that Chargers game. The Chargers are going to be the toss up to whether how they're going to play. I said the Titans. Yeah. You're going to see how they play with their whole new, brand new offense. That's that looks on paper to be one of the top in the NFL. Um, stop the run game with with Henry is one thing, but you still got Julio and the other big homie on the outside. 
it's that's a toss up. But at, at worst, I see him losing three, possible four tops. That's what I got him going third. Uh, twelve and four, no, thirteen and four, because I had him going uh fourteen and three, but that last I convinced you, yeah, he convinced me, and I'm I'm so that the Chargers, the second Chargers game is going to be a loss because of the stretch that they got. You you never know. Quick turnaround in LA. It's going to be a long season. I mean, just one, yeah. you know, I had one game doesn't right. seem like a lot, but it does for those guys, so, right? So but I got the pen, I got the pen wheel Chiefs, seventeen and zero. I'm writing it down, man. I can't right, mark that on now. the board. We're gonna get a little bored in here. We'll keep track keep all track our records of for sure. Little stuff. So, all right. So, who you got coming in the second in division? What's the uh, the Chargers? So the second in division is the Raiders. You Ooh. got the Raiders? What? Yeah, got to go to Raiders. I what mean, do you got them going? I got, I got them going one. nine and eight right now. Yeah, that's uh, what I had them going too. But I had them at nine and eight. Yeah, but I had the Chargers with a better record than that. See, I, I'm not sold on the charger, and I know I, I'm gonna catch a lot of flack for this. I got him at five and twelve, man, uh, because five, I know Justin Herbert but you is, the, is coming out and he's looking phenomenal. But you believe but in Burrow? See, like the t- like, that that's where it's year. tough for me. Like, fam, it's the same thing. But okay, I'm not gonna stuff on your record. But I got them going with that last. I had him going ten to seven at first, but with that, with, with him convincing me, I got him going eleven and six because of that last win against the Chiefs. But you know, Chargers are one of those teams that's you know trending high. One of them games too. They're well, coming off a lot of you know. Six. Herbert's got a lot of expectations. The second the year they get a lot of they got a lot of tape on them. I mean, Derwin defense. James is back healthy. Yeah, the defense is strong. The you offense got is Keenan strong too. Allen. You got I'm trying to think who that running back is right now. I know it's not Gordon anymore. Austin no. Eckler. I'm not. I mean, and he's a good back, but I mean, if Herbert if. He's the thing. It's all around Justin Herbert. He's got yeah, all the pressure to repeat as and have the success that he had last year. But that second year in the league, defense has got all the tape on him from a year. They're gonna be ready for him. There won't be any surprises. I've got confidence in him, like we talked about, right yeah. in that ten win range. But something My goes awry. That's tough. That team too loaded to be. And they, unless they, all, get they always the have team. injuries. I mean. But you never know. So then who, I'm with I'm with Jer. I think five and twelve is low. What's the other I know it's low. Then I mean, the, Denver. Uh, I got him at four and thirteen. Okay, so I, I'm not sold on Denver at all. Like I said, 13. Teddy B can come yep. in there and I do something nine, great. Eight and nine. But it's just, that that whole entire division is kind of like it's a Kansas. It's, it's, yeah, you, you it's know, the team's division no matter, no matter what. what. Yeah, but, no matter what. But I had the Chargers as a playoff team. You don't even got them. I had them as like a seven seed. But I, I gotta redo my I I gotta do my AFC standings and write them down. But I believe I had them at a seven six seat. Right. All right, we got yeah. Wills in the books. Right, AFC cool. West down. I got it in ink. All right, so, so he got the order of Chiefs, Raiders, Chargers, Broncos. I got it: Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos. Yeah, but I got the Broncos at eight and nine because the defense is really sound, but the offense ain't gonna be all of that. But then I got the. Raiders at nine and eight. Oops, AFC West. I got the Raiders at eight at nine and eight. I got at then eleven and six and thirteen and four. Chiefs winning it, the division at least. All right, cool. Now, all right, that, you, that's your AFC West. I just had to hear how you had them boys at seventeen and no. That's kind of tough. Hey all man, right. like I said, strength yeah. of schedule and then just that offense. I think your prolific offense is going to carry you with the defense being the way they are. It, it's it, they carried a lot of weight they, from last who's year. Who's they running back? Did they even get – is it still Clyde Edwards-Hilaire? Yeah. 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 C-E-H. Uh, he's going to be coming back full strength this year. You know, he kind of got hurt at the end of last year and was playing injured into the Super Bowl. But I don't know if Le'Veon's even there anymore. No, nah, he's gone. He's, that's that's some, uh, that's done and over with. But I ain't trying to get into the Le'Veon discussion right now. Right. All right, so um, has just cause some of his uh, – I'll explain it off air. Um. All right, so the NFC, the NFC least, NFC East, whatever you want to call it, we're gonna start with. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm assuming that everybody got this order from the bottom to the top. Maybe who knows? I don't know what you guys got at the top, but I would assume that everybody got the Eagles. We gonna do the Eagles first because they're last. So I'm gonna just get them out the way. All right, I got the Eagles going four and thirteen, uh, still in the win. Surprisingly, but still in the win against the football team at home late in the season. Uh, still in the win against the Giants late in the season at home. Um, where's that other dubs? I got them beating the Lions, and I got them beating 
the Jets week thirteen. So overall four and thirteen. Nothing too nothing too happy to uh be excited about. They got a new coach. He's super young, like Seriani, I believe. Nick Seriani, I believe that's his name. Uh, if I'm getting his name wrong, excuse me. But uh they don't they're still playing games with Jalen Hurts. I think that's right. And I don't Nick think Seriani. they really made the proper moves to even really get back into to matter. What'd you say? What do you got him going? Four and thirteen. Last in the division. And I got them pretty much the same thing. I gave them three wins and 14 losses. I got them winning against the Jets, like you said, late in the season. Uh, New York football Giants late in the season. And, of course, to the Lions in week eight. But other than that, man, they start off, what's this, uh, 0-7. And and then they get their first win week eight. Yeah, that's what I got that same thing, too. So this is the, I don't believe in the coach that's biting kneecaps off in Detroit. So he that's there. I got them going does. 0 and 17, man. The, not, the, not the coffee monster, bro. But my, keep, my fault, keep going, bro. That's just that, that coach, man. So we just push on yeah. to the next one in the division. I don't know if you want to go football giants next. Let's yeah, do that's it. it. That's still at the I, bottom of the oops. division there. Yeah, I got, the, I got the football giants coming in third in the division as well. What you rolling with them? Hold on, Ryan. What did you have the Eagles? Three and fourteen. Three and fourteen. It's, too. You get no okay. the Giants, the Lions, maybe the Falcons. Week one. I don't know what's Atlanta's going to show up, but right. I would take I mean, veteran experience going into week one versus at, all of the rookie stuff going on in Philly. Sister um, at Atlanta, I'd say the Lions, no. Giants, and Jets, and I think they can get to three wins. Yeah, they got a really tough schedule starting off. They do. I mean. At, at, at least they may be able to get that week five against uh, Carolina. Carolina. Yep. That's a possible there. But other than that, you look at the schedule, maybe when you're going uh, into Denver, I don't know, week 10, you kind of don't know what you're going to get out of the Saints still. Denver's defense is too stout. They don't got enough offense, I don't think, uh, in Philly. So, like they I might said, be able to still win against Vegas. That's, or the Redskins, the Redskins, the Washington football team, excuse me, coming off a of bye week 15. That's, in where I got that's where I got a dub at. In division opponent, yeah. at home, bye week, et cetera. That's, yeah, that's where that I got That defense is stout, too, though. Dude, for sure. But yeah. you can. But Danny fumbles. I mean, Who knows? So. But, I mean, right, no, no, that's the football team. I yeah. really, But I, I think highly of the football team. But since right. they're coming out of a bye, I'm giving them the dub. Right. And then I got them lose, winning the next game too. And then losing out against the football team at at, at Washington right. and losing right. at Dallas. All right, back to the Giants. Willie, what'd you have, Matt? I got them just a little bit better than the Eagles, and I got them at four and thirteen. Mm. Where's your where's, where's your wins? Where's your wins? I got them a win in the first game of the year against Denver. Right. Uh, right took them. Uh, they at home against Carolina. A win there. Uh, against Philly, of course, and going into Miami, I think, you know, with uh, Tonga Valoa, you don't really know what they're going to have down in Miami, but that's about it. You mean, unless Saquon comes and have one of those phenomenal years, I'm not looking for Danny Dimes to do too much. And uh, it, that, that offense just doesn't seem like it has a lot of production to me besides Barkley. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Um... I'm not a big da- yeah, I'm not a big Danny Dimes guy. He doesn't have a lot of talent around him. It seems to be Saquon's workload. Off um, of injury. If he right, coming off of injury, I mean, he's that's just a tough spot. Um I got him right in that same thing, four and thirteen. I you know, Denver should be one. Again, question marks for the Falcons. I had that Panthers game highlighted as well. I think they want to yeah, get too. one against the Eagles. The Raiders November seventh. Um so potentially into that, if they show up, they've got a decent squad. They can get to that six, seven win, maybe. But realistically, I think they're probably right in that four and five win range. Obviously, uh, you know the the TV production staff, uh, whoever comes up with uh, the schedule, sees them as a really good team because you look they are on prime time at least three times. Uh, it's because it's the during football the Giants. It's still but, it's the Giants. Yeah. They I mean, you got them against that. Washington, so that's a conference game or a division game. You got them against Kansas City to see them get exposed and blown out. <laughs> and uh, against Tampa Bay just to see Tom Brady on the Monday yeah. Night Football. It uh, should be an easy win for him, too. But like like the Eagles, you look at the top of their schedule, the first nine games, that's a pretty tough schedule, too. So, like I said, I got them going two and seven in the first nine games. 
that's pretty tough when you look at Dallas on the road at Dallas on the road at New Orleans. Mine's a little different. I got um, the first half of the season. I got them winning three games, and in the second half, I got them winning three games. Ultimately, going six and eleven. I got them beating the Falcons, beating the Panthers because they're home. I do like Sam Darnold though, but that, we're getting to the NFC South finally last week. I mean, next week just because we're in it all. We'll cap it off with the defending champs, so that's why I did the South last. But um, uh, beating the Raiders, beating the Eagles twice, and beating Dallas at home. So six and eleven. I don't believe in Danny Dimes either, but I got. Enough faith in the defense just to get them some extra wins, and then the offense might be able to steal some games in there. And six and eleven ultimately, but coming in third in division, nothing too, nothing to be too happy to be proud about. Maybe they're not going uh, tank. I think they still be competitive because their coach Joe Judge is he not? I don't think he has that in his system just because he's from the Belichick system, the Belichickian system. So yeah, six and eleven. You guys got three wins apiece. Four wins, you said. Yeah, I so I, I got, I got two at, extra wins in there. I got them at five, but I think they can still. Something. I think you're right there. Well, and I was just looking at that game against the Saints, October third. There's a lot of question marks around this. I mean, there aren't. But when when you lose Drew Brees, that staple that's I kept that James team together be, for a long time. I got them coming in second in so, that division when it's time to come. But I don't know. What, I can't think of there. what their record of be is offhand, but. I don't know for sure if there'll be a playoff team just because I got three teams. Actually, no, I don't got to make it a playoffs. I got my a- NFC North. But I was, I could see the Giants. You know, I could see the Giants it, get to maybe title. six, seven. But yeah. anyway, six uh, wins. I don't see seven, but six at max. Six at max. All right, so, Washington. Okay, who do you? Okay, you guys want to do Washington next? Yep. Or, Let's do it. Okay, go ahead. Um, so for me. Since we, I would have, I would have did Washington last, but because I got Washington football team winning the division at ten and seven, um, fourth seed just because you know the division winner get a top spot, but the bottom of the top, they will be because they're the top of the bottom of the NFC. So I'll give them that. I got them starting off two and zero, only because they're at home winning against the Chargers, beating Atlanta, losing to Green Bay, uh. Then they go on a nice little five-game streak in there. Uh, Panthers, Cowboys, Eagles, Giants, Saints. I got them, I got them still in the game. Since they're at home, I got them beating the Saints. Actually losing to Denver um, because they're at Denver. Losing to Seattle. Seattle going to need that win. And um, Eagles, Giants, Dubs. Three game losing streak because that's just tough right there. They def- man, they defense might be able to steal a game against the uh, Bills. I still doubt it, but that's a three game losing streak to the Bills, Chiefs, Buccaneers. Ultimately, uh, winning out against the Raiders and the Cowboys to get them ten and seven, winning the NFC least division for me. Uh, I got them pretty much similar. I got them winning an extra game and losing, of course, a, another. Under you need for you. Yeah, so eleven um, and six. I got them eleven and six. Okay. Um, I wanted to go there, but I had to give them an extra loss. Yeah, you gave them that loss at. Um, but Denver probably, you probably got that as a dub. Yeah, I got that as a dub in Denver. Yep. I think you took it's them at Denver. That's I, why I, I got them a loss in, in Atlanta. You got them starting off two and zero. The second Ooh, week, my bad. I got them uh, losing to uh, Atlanta, but. Um, I think we're all relying on that defense to kind of carry that load. And then what I have seen Definitely. out of uh, I got McLaurin. Magic and McLaurin, and, I mean, just the, that team doesn't look bad. It's just like they drafted some more Buckeyes on, as weapons, too. I can't think of who right now. I think just relying on that defense, which definitely is going to have a lot of pressure on any quarterback. Chase Young, BPOI. For sure, man. No. Like, it's, it's so <laughs> much that, that they have to be able to stop and – the teams, by them being in that NFC lease, it gives them a, a, a kind of a upper hand because you're playing yeah. these teams, you know, twice. So that's automatic almost six wins if you sweep your division. So, Which I think I got them doing. Yeah, I, I got them losing that very last game to Dallas, but every other game I think we matched up with pretty much. Like you said, that wild card, I, got them, I, got, I do have them losing to the Seattle Seahawks. But uh, other than that, 
the loss, like you said, the three games, Buffalo, Kansas City, and Tampa Bay, I got those lost too. But we, we you have to just see if that defense can really I wonder what you produce. got, Dallas. we get to Dallas next, though. So what you got, Ryan? Ten and seven. Ten to seven as well. Yep, right in that range. Um, No real outliers. I got them beating the Falcons. I got them beating the Saints. Yeah, a lot of it's on the defense. And uh, I like Coach Rivera. The, yeah, what I still have in my mind is they're, they finished the season on a strong note. Their defense was playing well. You still get bounced in the playoffs, but they gave the Bucks a good run, right? Yeah. So, they, I mean, Heineke cut them they made, Yeah, they made some improvements down the stretch, which you always want to look at going into the season. So, they might still have some of that momentum. Yeah. Bringing Fitzpatrick in, the consistency, he's not a playmaker by any means, but he doesn't turn the ball over, and that's what they need. They're going to try and limit possessions on both sides of the ball, let the yeah, defense do their right thing. Game. So we'll see what Rivera can do. He's, you know, he's got a team there before. So yeah, we'll see. Ten to seven. So you don't, y'all don't have them winning, right? Y'all, no, got, y'all no. don't. Okay, cool. You took them. I got them at ten to seven, winning a division. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, so America's uh, team. What you, what you, what you feeling about that? I got them going eight and nine. I got the Cowboys going eight and nine. Losing to losing open, they don't even. First of all, they don't even know what's going on with Dak. True so, indeed. so like, if we don't know what's going on with Dak, I can't one hundred percent give them extra wins in there. But I still always had them losing the division anyway. So maybe, and I think that week sixteen, it it, might, it could possibly come down to week sixteen. And if it in week sixteen they lose, I got them losing again to the Cardinals and then winning against the Eagles. So, but opening day, of course, losing to the champs. Losing to the Chargers, yeah. then win, win, win. So they go, they go, they go three and two, then they three and three at the bye. I got them losing to the Patriots. Um, bye week, of course, I got them coming out the bye with a loss to the Vikings. Right, then they uh, they beat Denver, beat Atlanta, of course, lose to KC, right. beat Vegas, lose to the Chiefs. I mean Chiefs, lose to the Saints, the Saints lose to the football team, win, lose, loss, win. So you, got them, you got them losing twice to Washington. I got I got the football team sweeping them. Okay. Yeah, but now nah, they gonna really now nah, I may be wrong about week sixteen against the Cardinals. No, nah, week sixteen against the uh, football against team. Football team. Yeah, so that that might because that's a what did I say Thursday night. I hope they don't win the division. They have yeah, to be. Sunday night football. Sunday. Sunday night football. Yeah, so that's gonna be for the division. But I wish it was flopped. That Eagles game. The Eagles and Washington game should be switched. Their last game should be. But the Eagles is their biggest rival, but it's going to come down to the football team and them. The Eagles is out of it. So that's just giving them a win at week 18 versus the division coming down in week 18, which I think. But the NFL be doing But that's a Sunday night football game, so I know they're not going to adjust that. I got them at 12 and 5, man. Like, 12 and 5. 12 and 5. Well, as long as I mean, you got them losing to Minnesota, I don't care. We were pretty much even <laughs> except for a couple of games. I do have them losing the first two games. Right. Yep. Win against the Eagles, win against the Panthers, win against uh, New York, the Giants. But I got them winning against, you know, this new kind of – I don't know if Cam is going to come out. You don't know if you're going to get Mac Jones come out. You don't know who's going to come out with New England. So that's why I'm like – I know you don't have Dak. You don't know. But I think that Dallas is really going to rely on Zeke and, you know, the heavy run game and then get, you know – the other receivers involved, even though you don't know who you're gonna throw it to, I think they're gonna rely on just CD a gonna be their main dude. Of course, he you know, he and, gonna step up. With Cooper still kind of like doing his thing, and he's only a home guy. He don't show up on the road. But we gonna see what Amari do and uh, who they they slot. They got three receivers. Who they slot? Michael Gallup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gallup is nice. I like Gallup. He's actually a deep threat. So that's three receivers right there. That I mean, at least can and, get you in the end zone. Zeke gonna eat. Is Zeke gonna eat this shit? That's gonna be the big. You gotta thing. get back into that top five type back. I don't know because that defense never really show up. I think that new. Uh, I can't. His name is slipping. The new end they just got. Oh, man. Uh, they drafted Micah Parsons. Yeah, there you go. that's a good. Yeah. That's that was that a was good. A nice that was a good draft. Yeah, I was pick. telling Jared before you got here. Uh, my brother and I watched the first episode of Hard Knocks last night, yeah. which is the only reason I could name Micah Parsons off the top of my head. But um, yeah, inside <laughs> linebacker, up. outside end, fast.
fast. He can fly. So there's a lot of tape covering him. Yeah, with Jalen. Um, uh, and they've got that uh, uh, Leighton Vander Esch, yeah, another really good linebacker that's they can't stay really healthy, come either. up. The, and they've had trouble the He's last on the Sean year. Sean Lee type time. Yep. Yeah, Sean is. Lee always was hurt. So that yeah. defense is pretty good. They with, And you never know. It's sometimes those. You know, you never know what middle of the road team is going to take those baby steps, those little things that's really going to elevate them to the now. next year, to the next level. So I'm with Will. I got them going 11 and six as well. They might even six. get to 12 and five. Uh, they will beat the Vikings coming off that bye week. I will. Sorry, um, and I don't like the Cowboys. So I don't. That's just but right, this is you always got to take a team coming off objectivity. Bye week. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the Cowboys going 8-9, and nine, coming to second in the division because they're going to fold towards the end, I feel like. But it just depends, man. They, it's always something with the Cowboys. Jerry Jones can put some stuff out there. I don't, we still, Like I said, we still don't know what Dak is doing. If Dak ain't going to be there week one, who knows? How many prime to how many? Let's see. A lot. That's the one thing I, I hate is it's lot. always yeah. Sunday night football is the Cowboys. I'm so I'm tired. You got them week one. They start off the season. NBC, you know, then they you got go Thursday, CBS, Monday, NFL Network, Sunday Fox, Sunday Sunday NFL, NFL, they prime time ticket, man. Fox. This America's team, so of course they got the most things. I just don't got them going like any crazy. Can we have crazy. that debate? When are we get? When is America going to find a new team? Please, can we get over the Cowboys already? Uh, in my 28 years of life, the America's team has been the Patriots. Now, the last time the Cowboys won, I was about three. Right. What they won in, 95? 90, 90, 90, 97. No, no, 96. No, huh? It'd be 95. 90, it might have been 95. Because 97, 98, the Broncos won. 95. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I was two. <laughs> I'm what may, you know, what I'm makes it America's team? Uh, they sell the most merch, and they're the most recognizable, and they're known everywhere. And yeah, Jerry everybody, Jones, is fans, no how Jerry much. Jones is a beast when it comes to that. But he just and he's trying to keep reliving the not, not necessarily the glory days, but trying to recreate that that three headed monster like they had with Aikman, uh, Smith, and Playmaker, Irvin. Yeah, I mean, Playmaker. Like, when you can look at <laughs> yeah, when you yeah. look at Dallas, like a team like the Squillers. Like everywhere they go, everywhere they go, you're going to see that that black and yellow. You're going to see the star on the helmet. You're going to see that fan base. No matter if they're at the bottom of the division, everywhere. they're always going to follow strong, and they're going to go all the way into all the right. end of the season. So y'all think highly of them boys? I don't. No, because we don't. Nah, ain't no we don't. They the got boys a decent this year. team. I don't think highly of them, but they got a decent team. Like I said before, with with you know the the football team, that division automatically gives you at least you know. Four to six wins if you can pull out your divisional games. All but right. That middle of the schedule where, like you said, uh, coming off of the, the bye week and then you lose into New or um, Minnesota, then you get a couple of wins from Denver and Atlanta, probably Kansas City. I got them losing there, but that's when they kind of like maybe be able to turn up the tempo unless something happens between you know Vegas. That Saints game is a toss up. The, the football team, you don't know what's going to happen that game, and somebody can. I could probably get them a win over the Saints for real. Uh, I think the Saints going to shock more people than what we giving them a credit. Yeah, because Jameis Winston is they're coming in second. I got them coming in second in the bad division. Is what people think? I got them coming in second in the division, possible seventh seed, but they're going to be battling with like the likes of the Seahawks, the Packers, the uh, who else? Uh, yeah, along with the Rams, too, yeah. Yeah, the NFC, the NFC is loaded, and then of course I got Tampa Bay coming out on top. With I'm gonna just not even think about what my team is gonna do, but I got the Buccaneers coming on top. If you want to give my preview for next week, I ain't got them going 17 to no or nothing, but they going back to represent the NFC. In my opinion, I was I was real big on it last year. Uh, I remember we talked about it a lot during class. So yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this break. Come back with a little bit of basketball, because you know. We rock with that. <laughs> you know I got Brown with me. We'll be back in a few. Yeah. Never look back. Hey, see this, that. That championship music right here. That game seven, three seconds left on the clock. Are you going to take it? Don't lose your focus. 
crap. Yeah, focus, you gotta focus. Hell, you yeah, hopeless, what you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I focus, you gotta focus. Hell, you yeah, hopeless, what you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I I'm like, bruh, Brady in his prime. Houston 9 to 5 against all odds. I promise I will rise. I got that Jordan driving wheel to win. Cause from deep within, boy, I get it in. From the start to the very end, me and it to win. Switch it up, it's two minutes left. Gotta get the touch. I'm like T ball when it comes to clutch. You can count on me. Fourth and go, and I'm gonna score. That's the Super Bowl, I'll get that ring. Have to kiss my dream, then it with my team. Feel like Poppy bottom of the night. On my second out, up the back. And the base is loaded and we down by three Home run on the second strike Tried to throw a curve I'm on course, winning is the source We headed up north, that's to the top I will never drop, I will never stop Popping bottles of the champagne Had to make it rain We the best, we the team that's left Told y'all we was next, what was my focus? I ain't never hopeless, I'm all out like Kobe ah. Focus, you gotta focus Else you're hopeless, what you choose? To lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. Focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, but you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I'm like Kobe in the finals, and I'm gone for my sixth ring. We down two, we need a three to win. I'll take the whole thing. I had dreams to get it for my team and put us on the scene. Best believe, clutches in my jeans. I win by any means. I won't be stopped. Grinding in the morning like a coffee shop. If I'ma take us to the top, I cannot let my focus flop. My head is in the game. Can't let the level of my focus drop. Cause I will not lose the game. Ain't over till you out the clock. Been training for this moment. Fourth and inches. This your only shot. I hit the hole and break them off like Barry when he told the rocks. A move to change. You better get out my lane. I'm like a Moving train, I don't complain. I just play my game and let it self explain. I do my thing, guarantee when I'm done that they gon' know my name. Fighting through the pain, I still run it dip my ankles sprain. Blood, sweat, and tears, all is worth it when you win the rain. Motivation, dedication, yeah, this is how I stay focused. You gotta focus, else you're hopeless. What you choose, win or lose, you know. The- gotta focus. focus. You gotta stay focused. Focus. All right, we back live. That's debatable, man. We about to get into uh, in in a in a week of us being off, not being off, but in the in a week in a week's time. Katie and Draymond had a face to face on some Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, Kobe Penny type. Except you know, it's kind of different. Most players don't do that while playing. You feel me? That was kind of. And plus, there's the, the kind of the guys I'm interested in, so that was kind of cool to see. What you think about that? Hey, it was a conversation that needed to be had, and I'm glad that they had, like, a no holds bar kind of conversation. Yeah. I thought one of the most interesting parts of that whole conversation was how they explained, you know, when they had their argument and then how, how the – the front office tried to play and make, you know, Draymond apologize. And, you know, it was, like I said, really a good interview between those two, and they got a lot of stuff off of the table. And I think they really answered a lot of the fans' questions on, you know, a lot of the stuff they said. Yeah, I have seen a take. I'm not taking their take, but it kind of seemed like that too with my own eyes is that uh, I guess the fans has really been on Draymond about it. And it seemed like Draymond was like, just tell them it wasn't my fault that you left. <laughs> like, right, yeah. It wasn't me. I ain't do it. But uh, I say, I don't know why. They they only came, the front office and Steve Kerr only came to him on some, we want KD to come back. So we going to tell you to apologize. But the way Draymond operate isn't the, you going to tell me what? Uh, he's like, is that, I, I mean, if I wanted to apologize to Katie, I'm going to apologize to him on my own versus you coming to me and telling me this. And now you telling me to sleep on it because I'm still being you know, stuck in my ways. You know, Draymond being Draymond. And come back the next day 
I still don't take it, and now I'm suspended. Man, I can say they handled that all wrong because me personally, I was for KD at Golden State. Now I'm cool with the Brooklyn move too, obviously, but I would have preferred him staying Golden State and actually keep that a real dynasty in my in this era going. Like, there is no dynasties for real; it's all short. I guess most dynasties is short. But do both do either of you feel that they resolved any of their issues? Was During this the a conversation? Yeah, was this a productive conversation? <laughs> for sure, but. Before they had this talk on camera, they already had this talk behind closed doors. Right. They had this talk on the phone. Like, it's not just, yo, KD. Like, not because they just, we both in the Olympics and then now we just got to do this. Nah, they really had this talk. Of course, spending time with each other. They probably didn't spend time with each other in a while since KD left. But spending time with each other over there, they had that conversation. Who knows? They probably could have already had a phone conversation. It was, it was, I wouldn't say it was 100% open, but they gave the people what was somewhat needed. Now... Most people still mad about the KD Warriors happening. Now, we can argue who those people are. Cavs what, fans, as KD mentioned. Cavs fans, or is it, you OKC know, Bron fans? Bron, is, is, is it your fans? Bron fans. Yeah, yeah, he said it's his fans. So, But, you know, if, if you want to decode what they was really talking about, because that's what I think they meant, it really wasn't no what Cavs fans is really loud. Not no Cavs fans today, because most of the Cavs fan I know is claiming purple and gold. Just being one hundred. Now there's some true, genuine Cavs fans out there still, but most people booted when the King left both times. So I don't know, but people being mad and taking it out on KD as if he didn't go handle his business. Like, what if? I think that's why people are so mad because it works so perfectly, though. What if it didn't work out? I don't really think they was this un- indestructible team that people make it seem. I believe that the 2017 finals was more even than people make it seem. Now, the 2018, okay, I'll give you that, but so what? He got there and, you know, I got heard. busted. He ain't get hurt. What you talking about when he had the little wristband on him? 18 was the, the Toronto yeah. year. No, nah, that was 19. That was 19. 18 was over the Cavs again. That's when uh, Kyrie's first year in Boston. Anyways. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, but the, I think the, the 17 year, the Cavs, that, that that was more evenly matched than what the series went, has said. Just like when the Heat versus OKC, that was a five game series, but every game was close. It just didn't go in the Thunder favor. I guess some games just didn't go in the Cavs favor in this case. But, they was down 3-2 versus the Rockets. They, I mean, if the Rockets get finished the job, that just shows that they were – them being down 3-2 shows that they could be vulnerable. They just bounced back from it. But I don't know who to blame. I don't think it's – I don't blame the front office. I don't even blame KD or Draymond. I think that was just homies fighting on the court. And then because it's public, it got blew up and it got handled wrong because it was his free agent year. The good thing about this conversation these two had is it draws nothing but viewers and clicks to the NBA during the off season. True. We got yes, nothing I going on right now there. but trades, which, you know, trades. The Christmas Day schedule getting released, which is always huge news for the NBA fan base. But that's the one thing I took away from KD and Draymond is doing nothing but plugging the NBA into headlines, ratings, getting people talking about it during the off season, during July and August, which is usually the dead time of the sports season. Indeed, indeed. Do you think Draymond owed KD an apology? I think he that's called. A- he's you know he allegedly called him the B word. Um, it is what it is. Some people this ain't back in the day. I mean, it, maybe in that moment Draymond felt like he was being that or whatever the case may be. But do you feel like K Draymond owed KD an apology? As as two grown men, you can't force another man to make him apologize. True, and, and how. Kevin and Draymond, I think Kevin mentioned in a in an interview how he watched the last dance and, you know, everybody was on Scotty saying, you know, you should have played that game. Yeah. And he, he felt like it got resolved. That it play. was a whole team effort saying, or, you know, the whole team mm-hmm. conversation yeah. that saying Scotty should have played. Now, when it happened with them, he said he didn't feel like everybody had the same kind of resolve. You know, everybody just forcing Draymond front office mainly forcing Draymond to come apologize. But in the heat of the battle, you know, you're gonna have tempers flare, and you got two alpha males, so you can't. I don't. I don't feel like an apology was warranted. 
But at the same time, if whatever they take and happen behind closed doors is what should happen. Now, public apology, no. You know what I mean? Let in-house stuff stay in-house. Yeah. Some things you don't have to take public. And sometimes it helps that you hype in, you know, it, it, it sells tickets. If you see two players beefing, you know, sometimes you want, and definitely a team of that caliber, you're seeing everything go right for them. Sometimes, it, you know, somebody has to play the villain. That was their first real adversity. Sure. Yeah. So I like think it's it between the te- like between team confrontation. Not, I think they had some series of adversity. But as humans, we always want to see confrontation, controversy, drama, all that. You don't want to see the beautiful. You know, you don't want to see roses and all that. We love drama. We love beef as humans. Yeah, the about NBA is a uh, is a drama itself. So, yes, do it you is. believe that uh, confrontation is what led Katie to leave? KD said he didn't want to be there no more anyways. He felt like his time was done. He said the third season after he got hurt, that when he went to Toronto, yeah. he didn't feel like he was coming back. He felt like everything they needed to do was done. So I don't. the conversation might have sparked a little bit of it, but at the same time, I think he was already moving on, yeah. you know, no matter what. He already had future plans. Yep. He already had future plans. He was already going to be out of there. But he did want to ultimately set it off with a three-peat. And it just didn't happen, unfortunately. Kawhi and them did they think. That was. I dropped the link inside of the chat. If yep. anybody wants to check out the whole entire interview, it's right there. Just check it out. Check uh, that out. And it does bring um, it does bring KD to having plans, and those plans include LeBron James on December 25th this year. As always, the NBA Christmas Day schedule release is a big thing for NBA fans. Everybody gets excited uh it's a very cool thing i think um you know enjoy the holiday it's kind of like thanksgiving and football yeah the nba totally sure. took over christmas day you know i've seen it blow up the last 20 years i can remember as a kid it wasn't that big a thing i'm not a huge nba fan but um they've definitely We're plugged, get you there, buddy. They've We're definitely get you there. <laughs> well, i am getting there uh they've definitely plugged it and blown it up you know the last 10 years or whatever so yeah. christmas uh, day and, I, and i've got it right here Christmas Day starting at noon. We got the Hawks and Knicks. Yeah. An exciting one. We match. So the first round last year, Trey Young got spit on. Spike Lee. Well, Spike Lee, That's he's right. going to be a guest because it's in Atlanta. That'll be a big one. Yeah. 2 30, we got Celtics and Bucks. Uh, Bucks go in there and demolish them. J- oh, yeah. Jason just Tanner like that. Huh? Just like that, man. But just like that, I, the, I don't think the Celtics made, just because they're gutted, they friend office, I don't feel they made enough moves to really matter. Okay. But Tatum is still a young star. He might put on a performance. I we really like to see how still J- got Tatum and Brown, man. But Brown is coming off an of ACL, I believe. So he got to see how he bounced back because his his game is very based off athleticism. But a lot of people do come back from that, especially this air. All right. Well, there's a prediction for the Celtics and Bucks. Bucks win by twenty. But Pretty Tatum much. goes for fifty, according to Will and Jer. Yeah. Five like o'clock. This. We got Warriors and Suns. Any preview on that one, guys? The West, the defending Western Conference champions, and this is the first West matchup of the day. Christmas Day finished out with the West, too. I just noticed. Oh, well, yep. Brooklyn is in there. But besides that, I think – now, I like what Phoenix has done just because they're, everybody's going to take a leap forward, but I'm going to go with Golden State that day. And Steph Curry going to shine on Christmas. Is Clay coming back? Yeah. Is he going to be back? Yeah. You ain't see Space Jam? <laughs> I, I haven't seen Space Jam. <laughs> yeah, he was splashing. <laughs> but uh, nah, I, th- I like, think nah. Clay is coming back. I th- nah. yeah, he's definitely. I'm excited he's to ready. see. I like watching Clay Thompson play. Why is he coming back? Yeah, well, well, we'll see if they're gonna make any moves. He's coming back healthy, but if he's coming back, that means he's trading. Wings out. coming back. We don't know. We're going to see what moves they make. If they're going to get Ben Simmons. And that's why I'm taking Booker and the crew, man. I don't know what he's go. thinking about taking Golden State. I'm taking. I mean, well, Clay's so coming back, variables. and I'm taking Steph. Yeah, but at the same time, you still right. If high. Wiseman and Wiggins ain't gonna be there, that means they made a trade, and that means they made a big trade. Two so, on five, Clay and Steph versus Suns. Uh, <laughs> Steph will rise, my man. Steph will. Steph rise. just got that back, so you know he's coming and to try to show second two hundred million dollar exactly, contract. Man. Hey yo, Wardell, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> never saw, dude. Never saw that one coming. That scrawny little kid. 
Bro, I, well, we, I did, prolific. man. I believed in my Davidson. I was rude. I'm like, who is this light skinned dude killing? Yeah, I need him. Yeah, cool. you believed in him in March Madness. You yeah, didn't believe while I, was at I thought he. I like see my my now real talk. My brother is actually a real life Warriors fan because of Baron Davis. So like, not the bandwagon. I grew to love Steph, so I kind of like him. But that's not my team. Everybody like has. That. I then of course when KD went there, that just made it gold for me. But besides that, my brother a real Warriors fan. So like, I seen the rise of Steph and. From how they, they they traded away Monte Ellis and went and got Bogut. Like, the way they built that team around him is awesome. And his rise, everything that he's done, he's deserved it. I yeah. feel like my guy got snubbed of a 2015 Finals MVP. But besides that, his career's been perfect. He's a likable dude, that's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of hard to be mad at Steph. But the key matchup of the day, Brooklyn versus L.A. Of course, you know who I'm rolling with, my guy, Kyrie and KD and them, of course, James Harden and them boys and Patty Mills and Bruce Brown and Blake Griffin, Steve Nash. I could keep going on and on. And finals on. preview, right? Is this Christmas Day? Mm-hmm. Nah. Because nah. The finals the finals Brooklyn's not going to be there. LA's going to be there for sure. Brooklyn's LA's not, not going to be there. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> not willing gonna be to there. bet. We're going to have, like, we're going to figure out a way to get some bets in here that's not, like, necessarily oh, money. Sure. We're going to have to do some body armor case bets or something. We're going to have to figure something out. But. Hey, push ups live on air. Yeah, we're gonna owe me a thousand by the time the Lakers is done. <laughs> Nets gonna win that game on Christmas, and then the next day, everybody KD fans is gonna go crazy, and Brown fans and them is gonna hate it. And they're gonna be like, "It's just one game. It's just one game." And I'm like, "Well, the game that I saw, they killed. So I'm gonna go crazy. I'm just predicting how it went because that's how it went last year, and that's how it always go. So we'll see how it go. I then. Of course, I'm assuming you got LA winning that game. Oh, but of course, man. man why? Because it was a rest break. Oh, Bro, I mean, ah. you, you screaming his name so loud. I already ah, told you, dude. Russell is going to run a regular season in LA. Oh, oh my so God. we already got Russell, and you're going to be some, look, Give Russell me eleven, not AD, zero. Then LeBron. That's how the whole entire scoring and, and you know so everything KD, is going to go. Harden, and, uh, Russ, and Kyrie. What you say? <laughs> you gotta hope that them dudes is even you know healthy, uh, man. Well, so I mean, we could talk about how Giannis did the the, the cleanest, dirtiest play to take Kyrie out. Uh, we could talk about how he slid his foot up under that there. right he, there. Is he, he slid right? his foot up under Kyrie, but we uh, watch came off. Oh my ace hood, but uh, we gonna uh, we gonna see, man. We're going to see. Christmas Day, of course, I'm rolling with Brooklyn just because. At the night cap, I'm actually excited to see Luca versus Spider. Yes. And hopefully Spider is going to be healthy by then. But that's Christmas. Season start in October. But who you got? Matter of fact, Ryan, who you have on Brooklyn and L.A.? Rolling with L.A., man. That's a smart man over there. Why would you take Brooklyn? Um, let That's that man choose. Man. And let that man choose. He mm, is a bet man. He, I am a bet man. He is a bet man. All right. So. I, well, I was just looking. LeBron. Let's see. LeBron is nine and six all time on Christmas Day. Nine and six. He's one that? win behind the all time wins leader on Christmas Day, Dwayne Wade. He had was surprised like that. I don't know. Dwayne Wade's got it though. Anyway. Um. <sighs> Off the cuff right now, Brooklyn, L.A., Christmas Day in L.A. We'll give it to LeBron. Got to, man. I'm not. Um, Merry Christmas. My Merry, Merry Christmas. Hashtag Christmas. Was King. That's going crazy right now. Yeah. So Everybody we'll want to see the king dethroned and just want to pass the crown. He's been dethroned. The, like, you know I mean? nobody passing pass no crown. And Gian, Giannis got to prove he could do it again. Yeah, I love Giannis, but Giannis got to prove he could do it again. Everybody else yeah. proved that he could do it again. That's why I'm not touching booth five. Giannis is five, but not because of I'm going by resumes and just by default, Bron is two because he's not the best. So Kevin Durant, Bron, Steph, Kawhi, and now Giannis. But Giannis got to show he could do it again. Now you believe he could do it again. I He barely got away with it the first time. He escaped away by literally a big toe. But, all right, that's Christmas Day. And so, Utah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. And the last one, yeah. Um, <sighs> Jazz and Matt. I'm going to have to. I'm going to go Utah. Donovan and them will yeah. rise. Donovan and them uh, go into uh, Dallas and uh, handle that. But I'm expecting a big game between Luka and Donovan, and I would like to see that matchup. That would be dope. I would like to see Luka play somebody else other than the Clippers in the playoffs too, just to see what he could actually do. Of course, we could see what he could do, but I want right. to see him try to win. 
Because I already knew both of them games. Uh, Clipper series was a loss. He's going to have a new fat sack of money. Luke is going to be ready to play. Yeah, let's see if his teammates are ready to play with him. If uh, anybody shows That's up. That's going to be the thing. Like, if, at some part, you would think, well, when is Mark Cuban going to get somebody? Porzingis is not the guy that. Luke's ain't Shark Saint. They're trying to get Lloyd Markkinen from my Bulls, but they got to give up a little like, bit more dude, than I Maxi like Kleber. They got to give up more than uh, Maxi Kleber to uh, to co- uh, convince me. But besides that, we'll see. I'm going to take the Jazz on that one. All right, we already went to Christmas, but we, we opened up the season with Brooklyn. And ring night, Milwaukee. Now, it's going to be weird to see Giannis. Like, who would have thought ring night in Milwaukee, man? That's that's kind of hard, though. That's cool, though. That would be dope. And I think that the Brooklyn Nets are going to play villain and uh, ruin ring night. I ride with you there. Yeah, because yep. uh, they're going to have they're gonna be out for blood this they season. They better want to. They better uh, be yeah. out for blood. KD's not playing, man. And then Hart, Harden talking. I don't want Harden talking like, bro, just go do it. That's like what he does. Even with Brian, Brian, we ain't talking about them right now. They next. But, like, just stop talking. Just go do it. Like, you, all right, King, go do Stop. Hashtag Wash King. We, bro, you ain't Wash. We get it. But you're getting older. Like, you want to motivate yourself, whatever the case may be. He's still just stop in the talking. top 10 of the league. Can you grant that one? Yeah, sure. That's oh, fine. Sure. Uh, uh, barely. By the skin of his teeth. Uh, By like the little That's really and baby, that's really right? mostly off of uh resume, respect, like who he is. Like he's top five by default, but I put him at five. Like just off of ranking the players off of the talent, off a of resume, I put him too. But he got the best resume overall out of everyone just because of his t- eighteen year tenure. But besides that, I put him at five as a talent, but you know, he can't even he don't need to be the best on his team. Like they need to let AD do that, but we gonna see you. I think the Brooklyn Nets going there. Kyrie come back and he's gonna have a big game. Not not even it's not even gonna be KD because Kyrie is a big reason why the Nets probably didn't win. Yep. But I don't want to blame it on injuries. But right. I think Kyrie's gonna come back. You gotta, yeah, Milwaukee did their thing, but yeah. Kyrie Irving is a huge piece on any basketball court. Yeah, for sure. I think, so who you got opening? Up? You say you agree with me. Who you got? So you got the Nets too. Yeah, that's they go in and spoil ring night. Milwaukee, Milwaukee's gonna be ready. I saw, I think the finals night they had like sixty thousand people outside the arena or something, which is, which is nuts in Milwaukee in the middle of. Well, I guess it would have been warm summertime, but still, Milwaukee ain't that big. So it's I do like seeing a small market with the Chick Fil A get the championship thing like that. (laughs) It's good for the game. It's good for fandom. Um, Giannis is nothing but a rising, rising, rising superstar. So we'll see if he can, you know, take over the mantle. But Brooklyn rolls in opening night for sure. Yeah, um, they should. And it's up. like you said, they got to stop talking and just yeah, put it, just shut up and like, dribble. KD went one goal. They need to get it together. Kyrie's out in hiding still. I haven't seen any quotes from him, but Harden just had to quote, "Yeah, healthy Nets team." Like, okay, bro, you was out yep. there on the floor, fam. But well, that's fine. Let, yeah, I hit don't want to hit an extra from. jump shot instead of going two of eleven. How about yep. go four of eleven, maybe? And y'all win. Y'all lost by four. So if you hit a couple open sides, injured or not, give Kyrie enough time to come back. Y'all be ready for the finals. But it didn't go that way. So I don't want to hear no talking. I don't want to hear no talking from the other side either. Let the fans do the talking because that's what we do. That's debatable. So all right, well, let's keep talking. All right, late night. I want to hear what we're going to be talking about next week after you give me a recap. Of what we're talking about here. What you mean? What are we going to talk about on the show next week? Oh, yeah. We're going to get into the NFC South, AFC South. uh, Whatever else happens in basketball, rumors throughout the week. Of course, preparing for the season. So I guess we could do our overall standings. I hope you got your you guys got your records. I got I got my standings. Um, college football is coming. College up. football starts Where's next this, this Saturday. Yeah, uh, Stroud just got announced uh, starting quarterback. That was pretty cool. CJ. Yeah, so we'll see how that go. That's a lot of pressure on a young kid taking over that starting job, but that's what he's here for. We'll see. Maybe he built for it, but we if not, we got two other five stars behind him. So <laughs> and then, <laughs> better perform, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we trying to we trying to uh we got it. We got embarrassed by Bama this year. Um now beating Clemson was a big tip to the hat though. Appreciate that. But ultimately we lost. We was the only Bucks team to lose this year. Buccaneers won and the Bucks won. Buckeyes got a black eye. So yeah. <laughs> like it. 
All right, man. Oh, yeah, well, I guess, oh, yeah, the nightcap for the uh, opening night, though, I'll go Lakers over Golden State just because. When, That's NBA's. Lakers over United Golden State. Laker I can make, the, I can make an State. argument for the Warriors, but I'm going to just go ahead. And uh, I think the new L.A. is going to be happy opening night. Yeah, they coming out trying to the same way Brooklyn's trying to spoil Milwaukee. LA's trying to prove that they not just the YMCA old guys coming onto the court. Like you said yourself, thirty eight. Like you said yourself, that's experience on a resume. First of all, you put some respect on that age factor because you're not coming in. You got these young guys that's going to be following that the the order that Bron, you know, Russ. The young guys. We ain't going there right now. We ain't going over all that right now. You already know which young guys we got. Uh, we got Bazemore. Uh, He's almost been for eight years. Malik Monk. Uh, Monk. Um, got enough man. to, to, to Ellington is not is a, is dang near old head. He like at least ten years in. You now. got enough to come out of the West. You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. And they trying we'll to prove people we'll like see. you wrong, man. man, That's man. A, Don't prove me wrong. Prove they me right. And, and ancient and dinosaurs man. and you know. I just don't think car old or not, I just don't see it working. I just don't. The It'll work. Russell Westbrook and LeBron James, just I don't think it's compatible. I think it's trying to put a USB charger in an iPhone, and it's not going to work. They universal at this point. In order to win, you got to somehow figure out which way to change your game and change into a winning culture around the whole entire team. You're not going to continue to do the same thing. It's the thing fourth straight year he changed the culture, Will. But you got new players. <laughs> every year. A player like it's a new Russ. player every year. Yep. Last year they went younger. Like they was excited. We, we, got, we Schroeder, got Schroeder. We got yeah, exactly. Harold. We, we got with Schroeder. Schroeder and Russ, yeah. night and day. No, yeah. but the year before that, there was old heads, and it was, we going to bruise people up. And then the year before that, we're young, but it's still the Warriors' year. So we're going to try it with Lonzo and them. That was all lies. They was really just trying to get AD. Which ultimately happened, especially once he signed to Clutch Sports. So that you guys just described their approach, though. Like, here's what LA is yeah. with LeBron. Yeah. It's LeBron. Got the team. They and got the team. Try out the inside. Try to get the lettuce in there. Work around all the healthy stuff. It's you got to see who's available each offseason and free agency, and they yeah. build the team, and then they got to see who's coming off the championship. So each year you got to build a team. Like next year, they got to build somebody to compete with Brooklyn. Yeah. But Brooklyn's every, three-headed monster. So what they do is they just keep the one piece, and they're trying to the find pieces, what they can do around it. Well, don't right. forget about Melo but with the hoodie, man. He can't wear the hoodie in a game. So I don't want to hear it. going to come off the bench and be the spark that you need when Bron or Russ or somebody goes. You know, he, he kind of performed he, right there in Portland, didn't he? Uh, barely. In the bubble, he did uh, like 16 points. I don't know, man. Melo. That's 16 points off of the bench. But that's, that's not night in, need. night out. We never, we still don't know what we're going to get. Like, he's not a spot-up shooter. Like, I got to see how it works because Melo's not a spot-up shooter. Russ ain't a spot-up shooter. When you got a lineup of Russ, Bron, Howard, AD, Melo, like – it's going to take a little bit to the jail. The spacing. I don't even, like I said, I don't even like the shooters that they got because I don't feel like they're specialists. Like, they're, and they're still going to all depend in the LeBron James system to be standing in the corner waiting for the ball. And you, your job is to hit. And when you don't hit, you get blamed. And first case, death threat, Danny. <laughs> Miss the shots, and you get sent shots. So. I'm telling you, man, LeBron's gonna come out with him being in a year what 18, 19 right He'll be now, nineteen, this nineteen year. this year, thirty eight. Like turn, he, he's December not, 30th. he's not gonna be that same slasher to the cup. He's gonna go from he's trying to get a Kobe eight to twenty four. Oh, so last gonna, couple years of Kobe, you know what I mean? Mm. It, like you said, he's gonna try to develop the three point game. He's taking a lot more attempts. He's trying to get the record for Kareem. Like I really just think Russell Westbrook is just like a a box uh, a box office. Ticket, ticket sellout type of addition. I don't think it's going to work in a four in a four game in a seven game series. One, I haven't seen Russell Westbrook work in a seven game series in over five years now, and that's with Harden and that's with Kevin, and we're gonna see how it works with, and that's also with Paul George, and that's also with already Carmelo in a game where Russ had forty some, Melo had six something, and Paul George like had like five or something. But you ain't had Frank Vogel. Who was? I don't even think he's the coach. Like, they have Frank Vogel. Man, we already know Frankie V is not the coach for real. The coach is LeBron, Raymond James, and we going everything runs through him. 
Heck, Jeannie Bruss even run through him. And we don't even know. You you remember how that year when Wade and D Rose and Jay or Jay Crowder, everybody came. That to team was built for the playoffs. That team wasn't built to make it through a regular season. Well, I'm saying how they dismantled every single person that yeah, had I came can see in. that happening too. That's what I'm saying. I'm not I am not sold on everything that they have right now. I no, want to say they're gonna get this homie traded. Like there's nobody that they could trade. Like they're 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 all in with this roster that they got now. Maybe they could add somebody at the buyout. They ain't got nobody to trade. No more assets. No draft picks. No nothing. No young. No youth. No no nothing. Nobody's gonna want Russ now. Only team who wanted Russ was them. Like the contract is too fat. Like they're not gonna be able to make the trade. And personally, I think with the way LeBron played, they should have got Buddy Hill. But maybe LeBron really gonna get off ball. We're gonna see. Maybe LeBron could turn into a four, a, a true four, a true four, yeah. like a true four. Like he's obviously capable. He got the size. But I just don't see LeBron getting the ball out of his hands. He he really didn't get the ball at the shooter. I don't care. Giving up the ball to shooters while shooters out of there, while they're mad at shooter. Or like shooter got blamed for something. But we just got to see. And the 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 two ball dominant players and Russell Harden didn't even work. And you can't tell me that and while LeBron is just as ball dominant as them players. I just Bro gotta reversal, see it. man. We all want to see it, and we're going to see it against Golden State opening night. So uh, yeah, who true. else better than do it against Steph, Clay, and the whole crew? So we will see. I know you're excited to see LA. You probably watch LA more than you're gonna watch Brooklyn. Man, you already know, man. What's what, what's my guy? Man, he gonna be there this season, bro. He'll be back. Kyrie, like a name on his back. You already we waiting for know. Kyrie, man. We needed Kyrie, but you know KD gonna do his thing. But you know I'm still rooting for my actual team, my Bulls next year, and we're gonna be a top four seed in the East. Wow, that on it. That's debatable, man. I was gonna say I don't think be. I've seen you wear a piece of Bulls. No, I did. Clothing. I did. The, uh, I, I came in the other the other week. I had the Bulls shirt on. I had the Bulls shirt on when we did. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, for it. DeRozan. DeRozan. Uh, I mean, I could see the episode. <laughs> I know. Well, we got we got it on tape. Yeah, we, it's recorded, but not because it was. I was excited for my Bulls, so I came in with my Bulls shirt. But this is my first time wearing a Brooklyn shirt. I didn't wear this shit. I ain't wear this shit. So. I had to. I just. I'm just happy because you, bro. because uh, we was talking to Kevin and opening night and Christmas Day yeah. after that. But I think he, you know, a really closet type of Brooklyn fan. You know, like nah, he I said, mean, my brother was a Brooklyn fan. There like, ain't no like, closet like, like, about like, it, dude. I'm, I'm, a, I'm like every. I, I, I like surrounding my like my, my my brother is a Golden State fan, so like I kind of and plus I like Steph. My brother in law is actually a Brooklyn fan, and he did last year. Well, before COVID, he took me to the to Chicago to see the Bulls versus the Nets. Not KD was hurt, you know, so they didn't go to that game. And now Kyrie just injured his shoulder. I was so excited to see Kyrie because he just cooked Boston the night before or the day before what, the, the game before. At the number was like, but he got hurt against Boston, so he didn't play that game against Chicago. I was salty. Zach Levine bought out. We lost by like two, but. Jared Allen did his thing. I got to see Karis LeVert play. That was pretty cool. And Dinwiddie. Uh, but I didn't get to see none of the big dogs, and that was the year KD was hurt. So That's one thing that but I got to see. I've got a lot that. of fandoms as well, you know, from players to, you know, to teams here game. and there. And there's interesting stories behind people and their fandom, yeah. whether you go to an event, whether you catch a play, whether you're at a specific place, a specific yeah. moment. So sometime we ought to delve into, you know, those really good moments that make – Fan, what makes a person a fan of a team and why? So yeah. sometimes there's some interesting story, you know, like my first hockey game was well, I'm such a big Colorado Avalanche fan, you know, I was like seven. The abs come to town with my dad, it was awesome. Oh yeah. Totally. That's experience. a cool experience, huh? Patrick Roy? Raw? However you say his name? Yeah, Patrick Waugh. Guy. The best. Yeah, he was. So I said we'll we'll cover that sometime is yeah, you know, we'll go into our insta you know, or any I want to hear some good stories you guys have got from sporting events. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, and I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm trying to go to more. And and I'm the guy that goes to a spot. You know, and most conversation I'm trying to figure out what your favorite team is. Yep. And I keep a lot of com- That's how I learn about these teams and stuff. Because if you're a cool dude and your team is a team that I ain't even looked into for sure. And um, that's how I had a conversation. Did you know that they had this? And you know they added them or they was talking about them today. And now well, we're gonna be talking about them on our show. So. For sure. I couldn't agree with you, but hey, that's debatable. Don't sleep on Steph. <laughs> nah, you know I ain't sleep on Steph, bro. <laughs> well, my guys, that's all I got. I'm all out of info, stats, nothing like that. I'm looking forward to the um, – there's preseason tonight. We got another NFL game. 
Yeah. Coming up preseason week three, college football starts over the weekend. Uh, yes, so it's going to be a busy week for us. Yeah. Like I said, tune in this weekend or on a Friday. Uh, Score on Air Network. We got Bishop Hartley against, what did I say earlier? I was just my mind. Harvest Prep. Uh, baby. Harvest Prep, exactly. There you go. Yeah, that's, so what, my, prep, that's what my Bishop Warriors Hartley, lost to. Big game. Yeah, Eastmore, hopefully y'all bounce back against St. Charles. So, Not yeah, definitely shout out to – all the local high school, college football, all the local athletics getting back up and going this fall. Very excited for, you know, a fall high school athletic season. Yeah, can't wait. And you never know, I might be the new announcer for uh, the South High School Bulldogs. So, we'll see. As always, yep, yep. share, like, comment. And I uh, appreciate you for joining in this here on That's Debatable. I'm Will Ward. It's your boy, Jer. Jeremiah Bays. And our guy. As always, I'm the voice of reason, Ryan Dietrich. You can find our videos on the Score on Air Network. Check out Jer, Will, myself, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all our pages. Yeah, and again, that's tune in page. Next Monday, Please tune in. Next Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Jeremiah's That's Debatable page. You can find all our content. Thanks. Yep. Bro.